Hello there, this is Jay from JCAD. I make AutoCAD tutorials for students and professionals in the fields of architecture and interior design. If you are new to our channel, subscribe to get our weekly tutorials on AutoCAD and other design software. In this video, I will be telling you about how to measure in AutoCAD. I already have a project open here and I wanna show you the measure tool in AutoCAD. You've probably seen the dimension tool over here under the annotate and there's dimension here. And also under the home ribbon, there's also dimension, this element right here. And there's this element as well that allows you to measure in AutoCAD. But there's actually a, a, a measuring tool here or a measure command that only does the measuring just for your reference. And it doesn't actually leave um, a dimension essentially, which is what this these commands do. So when you use these, it will leave a dimension here. So. To measure in AutoCAD, you need to go to the home ribbon and under the, uh, or for the, in the utilities section, you will see here measure. Now in AutoCAD 2020, they introduced, I'm not sure 2020, maybe 2019. Um, the measure tool here, when you click on this, it's set by default to uh, a command called quick measure. And then as you are moving the cursor, it's literally trying to show you uh, relevant measurements based on where the mouse is sitting right now or where is it in the drawing space and you will see here as I move it I'm getting uh, different information now this tool might be a little bit confusing and I'm not personally a big fan of it maybe maybe I will like it later but I want to show you an easier tool to use compared to this one if you like this one of course go ahead and use it it shows a lot of information but I want to show you uh, a tool that will only measure, for example, a simple line, so from here to here. So under measure, if you click on this small arrow right, the right under the word measure and you click here, we will get this list of different measuring commands. And what you want to use is distance if you are measuring uh, linear objects or you want to measure a linear distance. So let's click on this one. And then here you can simply click on one point and then on another point, for example, and we get this and it's saying 276 now this one is showing us the 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 measurement to be like this this is actually in inches we're not seeing the inch and the foot symbol because we need to have the units menu set up so i'm going to click exit here and then we, we're going to go to the units menu by typing un and then here you just want to make sure that under length and type you want to have architectural or engineering uh, chosen. So I'm going to choose architectural here and then I'm going to click OK. And then when I use the measure tool, if you see here that now the, the default measuring tool is the distance rather than quick. So just to make sure you can open the list again and choose distance. And then when I do the measuring again from this point to this point, we get the measurements in feet. So in the case of this one, it's 23 feet. Uh, let's do another one. I'm gonna do this. I'm gonna choose distance here. I'm gonna click from here to here, and here we go. We're getting 38 feet, and I guess I have a little extra inch over here. All right, and that was it regarding how to measure in AutoCAD.